right. Well, uh, Marco Rubio says that, well, candidates have a, a right to respond to a president who insists on uh, naming his own Supreme Court nominee. Republicans and Democrats sharply divided, not Senator Rubio. We should not be appointing anyone until a new president is in place. Not to even have confirmation hearings? What's the point? I don't think the Senate, well, well what I don't if think it, the, the president has you, a right Senator, to nominate, you but we're not going to move forward. Well, wait a minute, what if it were you? I would not. I, in the final year, I would not. I would respect the process. Really, but you'd still be president. right. I would respect the fact that we have an 80-year. I understand, but we have an 80-year tradition in this country of not moving forward in the last year of a presidency on a permanent appointment to the court, which is what this is. All right, to the former Attorney General of the United States, Alberto Gonzalez, on that, uh, Judge. Very good to have you. Um, I don't know. This president still has about a year to go, Judge. So, uh, is there a president? I know Ronald Reagan ultimately got a his choice in in the final year of his presidency, but that's a slippery slope deciding when or when not to hold hearings because you're afraid of what the president might come up with. To me. Yeah, I think that perhaps uh, I have a great deal of admiration for Senator Rubio, but I, it, it appears to me that his judgment has been clouded a bit by perhaps his political ambition. I think this is a big deal for a president, and and you have a responsibility under the Constitution to make an appointment when a vacancy occurs, to make a nomination when a vacancy occurs. And if you identify someone you think is qualified and you're ready to make the nomination, I can't imagine that a president wouldn't make the nomination. And if he were president, I can't imagine he would make the nomination during the last year of his presidency. I just don't see it. I just don't believe it. I don't see the win strategy for Republicans not even, you know, accepting confirmation hearings. Because I always say, well, if you don't like who the president submits, you can reject it. Uh, but by, by not holding the hearings, I think that would be far more politically damaging, would it not? It, it could be, depending upon the, the nominee and the timing of timing of the of the nomination. Listen, getting a Supreme Court uh, nominee uh, confirmed in, under normal circumstances is an arduous task. Right. But when you do it during the political cycle, it becomes even more difficult. So a, a lot will depend on the factors. But 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 the Senate does control its own calendar, and it's held by Republicans. And if the Senate believes that they can get away with not holding a confirmation hearing and not holding a four vote, then I suspect that's what they're going to try to do. But from my perspective, at the end of the day, the president has a job to do in nominating and qualifying individual and the Senate has a job to do also in making a decision as to whether or not that individual should be confirmed to a lifetime appointment. Yeah, and I've seen it play both ways. It was Senator Obama who did everything in his power to freeze even consideration of Justice Alito. So I know this sort of thing happens, but it's not a justification for doing more of the same, right? Uh, you're absolutely right, uh, Neil, that uh, Republicans and Democrats play politics with, with the in the confirmation process for all federal judges, and it's very, very unfortunate. It's something we struggled with under the Bush administration when the Democrats controlled the Senate, and I wish it weren't so because, again, the president has a job to do, the Senate needs, has a job to do, and I think the American people should expect both to do their job. Judge, uh, we're getting word that the Pentagon, ahead of the, the president's plan to Cuba, is submitting a, a just shut Gitmo down plan. Um, now, that, that's probably dead on arrival when it comes to dealing with Congress. But what do you make of that and whether this is going to add to the, the, the heated nature of this visit with the president when he arrives in Havana? Well, I think it will certainly add to the heated vi uh, the nature of it. Uh, uh, President Bush wanted to shut down Guantanamo. The problem is, is that we never could provide to him a viable alternative in terms of what, what would we do with these dangerous individuals that we held at Guantanamo. And so. The reaction to what President Obama apparently intends to do, I think, is going to depend on what the alternative plan is. And hopefully he does have an alternative plan that makes sense for the national security of our country. So a lot remains to be seen in terms of what's going to happen going forward. All right. It's always good to have you. Thank you very much, Judge. Thanks for having me again.